Hi guys, this is Heidi with Kiddos Corral, and today's another Sunday Simple Supper. Um, this is something that um, is very, very easy, of course, and does not cost much at all. And it is also made in a slow cooker. It's very filling, and... Um, and it's obviously extremely inexpensive, which I already covered that. But um, it is 27 degrees here today. Um, and it is cold. So whenever it is cold, I always make this. And it's very, very easy. Um, the first thing that I buy at the grocery store are these great northern beans. Now, I buy a big bag. This entire bag is less than a dollar and a half. I use half a bag, maybe a little bit more than half a bag. I put it into my crock pot. I put my crock pot is on low. Um, I just want to cover these beans with water. And I'm going to add um, two tablespoons of butter. Now, if for some reason you don't have butter, you do not have to have this in your beans. But I always add just a little bit of butter. Um, then... Um, now, you can do quite a few different things with beans. Um, I am trying to cut back on, you know, a lot of fat, and so I've been buying more turkey bacon. So I'm going to take about four slices of turkey bacon that I have here, and I am just going to take kitchen scissors, and I'm going to cut this turkey bacon up and put it in here in my water with my couple tablespoons of butter and then it is going to cook in here for I'm going to say you know if you have an older crock pot it takes more time if you have a newer crock pot this is brand new it takes less time so um, probably what would take me six to eight hours is probably only going to take me about four hours maybe five hours at the most to cook up um, you know, if you like regular bacon, you can add um, regular bacon. If you have a leftover turkey bone, uh, not turkey bone, ham bone from where you all had a ham for dinner, you can actually add the bone to this, and it would bring great flavor to um, these beans. Um, you can cut up regular bacon. You can actually buy um, a piece of ham that I believe on the package it says... Um, it, that it specifies that it is specifically to put in beans to, um, to make this. Um, this, that is totally optional. Um, but this is the way that I make it, uh, nine times out of ten. Um, I know that come, um, you know, around holidays we will have a ham, so I will be making this again with a ham bone, um, in it. Um, but you you want some flavor. I mean, if you put water over these, these are going to get soft, and you can eat them that way. But um, they're not going to have much flavor to them. And my this is the way that um, I have always made them is with just a little bit of bacon and a little bit of butter and water. Um, that you can put some. I know people that put a little bit of garlic in here. I know people who put a little bit of. Um, um, let me think, uh, there was something else, um, onion in here as well, some little bit of diced onion, but this is the way that my family and I have adapted to eating beans is, um, like I said, a little bit of bacon, a little bit of, you know, cover this with water, put, and, um, some butter in here, and then I'm going to make a pan of cornbread. And so, um, I will be back in just a minute once I get this covered and show you okay, what it looks so like. so I have my beans, my bacon, which is turkey bacon, and my butter in here. And it's covered with water and it's turned on low, right here. And I'm going to just simply put a lid on this. Now, in four hours, oops, when this is done, um, I am going to make some cornbread. Now... That brings up a whole different discussion in itself because I am from north and up north cornbread is sweet but I live in the south and in the south cornbread is not sweet at all 
So, depending on where you are at, you may have your own recipe for cornbread or your own liking. But because I like it sweet and because of how we have adjusted um, our taste buds, I guess you could say, I make the Jiffy brand cornbread muffins. Now, instead of making it in muffins, I just make it in an 8x8 pan, which I'll show you whenever um, these get done. But, um, and you certainly don't have to have cornbread with this at all. You could just have regular bread and butter with this, and it's fine. But the cornbread adds to it, and I like the sweetness of the cornbread with the beans. Um, and, and two, if you buy the Jiffy brand cornbread uh, muffin mix, um, it's only about 49 cents a box. So um, I use two boxes. And speaking that this entire bag here of northern beans was $1.50, um, that pretty much makes my um, meal dirt cheap. So um, we usually eat this once a week um, to cut down on grocery cost. We all like it. It's very flavorful. We have no complaints when I serve this. This is a good hearty meal. And we just call it cowboy night for short. Um, I made a comment recently um, on Organized Clutter Bugs uh, Monday meal planning uh, videos that um, I found that if you're looking for ways to save money on your grocery bill, not only is, um, you know, going, having a meatless night like she suggested, but we have what we call a cowboy night, which is beans. Um, and it has saved us money on our grocery bill. And also, too, these, when, you know, if there's leftovers of these, I will certainly eat this tomorrow for lunch. I have no problem eating beans and cornbread. I think it's very tasty. Um, so, anyways, I will be back in what will seem like a second to you, but it will be four hours for me. And um, these beans will make your house smell really, really good. You'll be able to smell this bacon cooking in here. And I just love this. So, I'll be back in four hours. Okay, so I am about to enjoy my dinner. Um, this is what it looks like when it's done. Um, yummy, yummy, yummy. I am looking forward to this cold 27 degrees outside. So this will be a good meal. It's my cornbread. And uh, this is the last of my roses. I know for certain after the cold hits tonight. Anyways, I'm going to enjoy what's left of them. It's going to be over. But anyhow... Very easy supper. Hope you all enjoyed this Sunday Simple Supper. And I will be seeing you again. So, have a good night. Bye.